know how you guys say I have the favorites for 2014. I can't believe it's 2014 already. This year has been flying so fast. It's crazy. So today I have a video on the favorites like I told you. So we're going to get on and start with that. First I'm going to start with my favorite palettes of the ears or favorite colors in the palette. First one is my all time favorite is my Naked 2. Naked 2 has been my favorite of all times this year. It's this wonderful um, and it's all these neutral colors and I think it's very well if you're starting with makeup and you want something to start with I recommend you starting with this one or even the first one I haven't tried the first one but I think it's really similar to it I recommend this one and the first one but this one is very nice you can tell I have been digging into these colors like crazy this year and my again another one but it ended next year so hope so and then we got this one this one is the L'Oreal Pro 2 this is not necessarily my whole palette my favorite, but my favorite colors were Rose, right there, Mocha, and Chrome. Chrome I'm actually wearing right now, if you can see. It kind of has like a purple undertone. It's very pretty. And then for these ones, my favorite colors are Nectar, Plum, and I think that was it. Yeah, these are it. Um... This palette wasn't necessarily my favorite, but it was my favorite colors in there. Um, if you want best of both worlds, I do recommend buying this one or the first one. If you want more neutrals, go to, for the first one. This one has the matte and it has the shimmery shades, so yes. And then my Naked 3. Um, Naked 3 is such a unique palette. I think it's amazing and I think it's good for any collection because if you have the other nakeds they're way different these ones are, are all pink undertones and they are great and i hope you guys can try this one out as well and they are amazing the one i have been digging into a lot is actually nooner right there so it is very very pretty so next palette that i am customizing is mac but i think i'm gonna move on from mac to um Makeup Geek, yes, Makeup Geek. So I haven't tried, I haven't got any yet from Makeup Geek. But I want to get the foil ones. They look gorgeous. I've seen them so much. This one is from Mac, and it's all that glitter. It's right there, if you can see. And then we have Saddle by Mac, and it is a matte color. This is such a good transition color, or just even this decreased color it is great. I love it, and it's my favorite. Next thing that I have out right now is a Twisted Peppermint, and this one smells super, super duper dude. This came at the end. Well, this is more like a candle thing. Um, I started with the Yankees candle. It was amazing. I loved it, and I can't remember which one I got, so I don't know which one I got for that one. And I threw it away, and I scratched out the thing on it, so this one is this Peppermint. It is great, and this one I got from that like $8 sale they had or something like that. I don't know. Anyways, this is the Velvet Sugar Spray from them. It smells so good. I think it's a perfect girl smell. And I'm not really into the girly smells, but I actually really like this one. And I loved it this year. I'm glad I found it. Another thing from um, Bath & Body Works is this cream right here. This hand lotion or body lotion. Um, this is the Honey Crisp Apple and Butter Red Rum. So it is great. I love the smell. It smells like apples. It's amazing. Next thing, I'm just going to grab from this bag. It is cool, so if you want to stay tuned, go ahead. Um, I recommend each product in here. So, One that I love this year is this NYX Brow Powders. It comes with uh, the, oh, the angled brush and the one to brush it out with. I forgot what it's called. As you can tell, I really digged into it. This is so gross. I hate the wax and don't listen to it, but it's right here. And I think this is great because it doesn't give you that red undertone. It's just perfect. It's perfect. It's perfect. It gives you a correct color. And next one is this Milani blush. I swear, I'm not really a blush person, but this one is my first blush right here. And I do love it and recommend it. Let me swatch it. Let me swatch it. swatch it's right there. You can't really see it. But yeah, it is so shimmery. It's like, this one is real... Rose de Oro, and it's great. I recommend this one. Highly recommend it. It's not too crazy, but yeah. Brushes, I have two this year. Not my, I was looking through my brushes. I was like, I think these are my only two favorites, I believe. So this one is the e.l.f. powder brush. This one actually amazed me. I do this every day with my foundation. Even as a powder brush, the only 
problem is it's hard taking it out. I'm not sure if it was the foundation I was using or if it's the brush. So, But it is a powder foundation, so I give it to it. And I brush is this one from Real Techniques. It's real, real soft. It is great for my powder foundation. It is great, 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 great. And I love it. Next is my foundations. This one is the Loose Powder Foundation from Mineral Shears. And it's from Neutrogena. And it is amazing. And I love it. I recommend it if you want that shine on your face. Next one is this True Match by L'Oreal. This is great. I love it. It gives you so much coverage for a drugstore if you're looking for something. And this one is actually a true match because it matches my skin tone perfectly fine. And I don't have any problems with it. And that is amazing. Another foundation kind of thing is this like BB cream. I'm not sure what it is. Like, for me, it's a BB cream. But yeah, it doesn't give you like bam coverage. It's, it's, it's light, light, light coverage. And it does have SPF 20. So that's why I like it. And... Yes, and I found that one at the drugstore. And then I've got this mm, MAC um, Fix Spray, and I love it. This is great for giving more pigmentation, setting your your makeup, making it look beautiful, and refreshing your face when it's summer. I recommend this truly, 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 truly. Um, some mascaras I have found amazing this um, year. I don't really go for high-end mascaras, to be honest with you. I think... I just rather stick with drugstore for foundations because I go through them really fast. This one's a Scandal Eyes Rocking Curves. This is great and it, I love the wand that it has. It has that curvy wand. So the curviness works because on the bottom lashes, you can get to them very, very well with that one. Next you have this Mega Plush by um, Maybelline. And as you can tell, it's very, very bendable, flexible, flexible, flexible. And then it's like this. This one gives you some volume, so you can see it. It gives you some volume, so. But this one gives you more, so if you want mild, I, I recommend that one. This one is like this. It is great, it gives you so much volume. This is the pumped up, and I've been looking at it. I've seen it on YouTube a lot, and I want to try it out, so I tried it. Next, we can go to nail polishes. This one by Spoiled is great color. I love this spread, and I do recommend it. This is SO26. Another one is this one by Essie is Hide and Go Cheek. It is great, great, great. I love this color. Oh, just don't get me started. Next one is oh, this is another mascara. This is Scandal Eyes. This is the like the orange one. The pink. This is not sure if this is the first one, but yeah, this one's great. Gives you so much volume. This one I will always go back to any time. So get you do. And then uh, eyeshadow that. Seriously, I don't know where this has been all my life. NARS, thank you. I found it. It's great. It has, I'm not sure. I got it on glambot.com. It yeah, had a video on it. I can leave a link on the bottom so you can get a discount. You can see, you see that? It sparkles. Do you see that? It's so great. And it's because, like, the sparkles are in the, like, it's like, kind of reminds me of a pressed powder. But, yeah, it is so it's like it's supposed to be goldish but it's more yellow than goldish i think so uh liner that i love this it's like this one is from jordana i think these are so worth it because they are so so like cheap you can get them so yeah i recommend that one and i usually tend to step away from these liners but I love that one, so maybe a little bit more, buy even more of those ones. Um, this one is Dark Slate, and this one's by L'Oreal. This is a cream one, and I love it, love it. Or gel, but it reminds me more of a cream, and it does not smudge too much. Or not really that much if you touch your I don't really touch my eye. It doesn't really smudge at all, so. Let's see. Another lip product that I liked or the product is this Sugar Plum Fairy by Wet n Wild. Wet n Wild. This one is such a pretty color. Look. <clears throat> I'm putting it on right now. Mm -hmm. If you can see it. I didn't apply it too good, but yeah. It is such a pretty color. Look at that. Oh. These are from the semi-matte collection or the matte collection. Some people call it semi-matte, some people call it matte. And this one's my nude of all time. I recommend it. Highly recommend this one. 
one is like a pinky nude and I need to get a new one because this formulation, this one is old already so you can tell because the bottom is way different than the ones I have right now. The new ones, this one's just peachy and it's perfect, perfect tone. This one is by NYX and this is a soft, soft matte lips. This one goes from cream to matte and this one's a little bit similar to that one that went wild so look at that. Get a whole beautiful pixel. Next one is, I'm not going to swatch this one because it's a butter gloss and this can get everywhere. So this one is great. This is Creme Brulee and it's 05. Very, very pretty. This one I was wearing earlier on my list. This one, the name says it all. T Rose is like that pinky tone. This is like a mauve color. Very, 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 very gorgeous. It's on 628. Right there. That can be for an everyday look. And the next one is Bare It All. This one is such a pretty color. And this one is a nude color, if you can tell. It's a darker nude. Next one is... No, this one's not my favorite. I don't know why. I just, I think I just threw it on there and accident. But yeah. This one is Urban Night. I'm not sure if you can still get this, but I got it at CVS one time, and then I never found it anywhere else. This one is such a pretty color. If I don't wear this one, I wear that one. And if I don't wear that one, I wear this one, because if I want a more darker or deep tone on my lip, then I wear this one. If I want a more red or more lighter version, I like this one. This is Urban Night. I highly recommend that one if you can still find it. I'm not sure if it was from a fall collection, but I got it during fall, so, yes. Um, this one is Wine Room. Wine Room is beautiful. It's like that pink you can wear when you just want, like, a darker toned lip. So, yes, I'd recommend that one for that. It's my favorite. This one's Move It Out of Here. I know it's Move It Out of Here because I cannot forget it. Yep, and it move it out of here. And this one's like a purple. I think it's just like a... I don't know how to explain. It's like a purple, though. It's so, so, so nice. It's right there for you guys. And then we have this one from Milani. This lip liner in this nude. It's so cute and so nice. I can't swatch it because I need to sharpen it. Right there. But this is a... If you just want, like, a nude lip, I recommend that one. And I have this one. This one's Dulce Caramelo. From Milani, and this one is like a shimmery shade, and I can't remember the other one. I have one in my purse, and then if I remember the name of it, it's my favorite too, right there. Then I will maybe leave a clip at the end of this, or maybe the name of it. So if I find that, I'm gonna go do that. And I believe that is it for my favorites of 2014. I hope you guys had a wonderful, wonderful New Year's Eve and Christmas. I am gonna put up my what I got for Christmas. I put it up the other day, but I left my computer on so I could download it and then they wouldn't let me load it on YouTube. So, and I redo, I'm not redo it, and then reload it. So, do this one first and then what I got for Christmas. And I hope you guys enjoy this video and have a wonderful day. And let's get on with this YouTube career and let's go. <laughs> have, have a good one. Bye.